Hey guys, David Rocco here. We're gonna make braised octopus in tomato sauce. And these are the ingredients. Octopus, garlic, some capers, some chili, and fresh red chili, some molisana pasta, chidio passata, and colavita olive oil. So it might not look that pretty like this, but a lot of things don't. But then when it gets cooked, it looks beautiful. First things first, Ems we are going to remove the beak. Just kind of scoop, remove the beak, which is this little black crusty little thing. Ew, that is so gross. They should call it an eye, not a beak. Yeah, well, maybe you're right, Ems, but let's just give it a rinse now. Now add some olive oil to the pot and a couple of cloves of garlic. Some dried chili and fresh chili, and I'm cutting totally non style here. Capers. I'm gonna saute this for a bit. Okay, some parsley. And now the octopus right in. That octopus does not look pretty. Yeah, but Ems, once it's cooked, it's a whole different story. Octopus has a lot of moisture. We're not gonna add any water or wine, nothing, just a little bit of passata. So I'm just going to raise the heat. So at this point, when it starts going blah, 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 the bubbling of the sauce, we're gonna lower the heat to medium, add a lid, and we're gonna cook it for three hours. And it's going to make the octopus nice and soft, create a delicious sauce, and give a smell to your house oh, that's gonna make you wanna eat right away. Okay. Now, this is the octopus. It's been cooking for about three and a half hours. And look how deep red the sauce is. Doesn't that look fantastic? It looks so good. Doesn't that look great? It looks delicious. And it's so tender right now from cooking so long. I'm just gonna cut it into little bits, which then I'm just gonna add to the sauce. Okay, so I have the pasta water. That's boiling. Salt your water. It needs to taste like the sea. That's right. Now you can use any type of pasta, long or short. I'm gonna use these mezza canaroni because they're like little tubes and the sauce gets trapped right in and it's just fantastic. Okay, the pasta is almost ready, and you have your really soft, tender octopus. Mm. And what's so amazing about this recipe is we added no salt. All that salty flavor comes out of the octopus and gets released into the sauce. So I'm just gonna reserve a little bit of the water and then sauce back on. And we just finish cooking it now on the stovetop ends. Oh yeah. So a little bit of that pasta water is used just to lengthen the sauce a bit. Okay, fatto done. And the Tentacles are used as garnishes. Okay. How's it look, Ems? Amazing. Doesn't it look great? And the tentacles on top, and every dish gets one. Mmm. Fantastic. Ems, you look sad. Well, don't I get something in return? Well, I did film this video. 